Good fighter to watch him out, Katayev. A kind of seek and destroy merchant, really. More signs to him than that. But even in the short format of three rounds, he's looking to get something done. And he definitely will be over five rounds. Tokyo Bronze World Championship bronze earlier this year, where he lost to Nureka Alpai of Kazakhstan. And now, bring out his opponent and the former 2020 Olympic medalist matchup. Please help me welcome, as he fights out of the gold corner, representing Cuba, please help me welcome the legendary Arlen Lopez Cardona. So I outlined Lopez's credentials just a few minutes ago, and they are considerable. Himself, La Cruz, Ronnie Aleglacias, Giosfani Betia, Lazaro Alvarez. That core of that Cuban team for so long. And the double Olympic gold medalist, achieving that at a second weight in Tokyo, beating Ben Whitaker in the final who beat Katayev in the semi-finals. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We have reached your highly anticipated co-main event of the evening. Your co-main event of the evening is proudly brought to you here at the IBA Champions Night, taking place in the beautiful city of Patong, Phuket, Thailand. Your co-main event of the evening is officially sponsored by Gold Caravan Travel Agency. Your five judges being representing us tonight ringside from Algeria, Sid Ali Mokratali, from Kyrgyzstan, Jamila Borkoeva, from Korea, Jong Suk Cho, from Turkey, Yasir Sinar, and finally your fifth judge ringside representing the Kingdom of Jordan with Rami Al Bitar. When all the action begins, your technical director in charge of all the officials from Australia, Mr. Wayne Rose, and finally in the center of the ring by the bell, your friend and mine representing the IBA by way of Uzbekistan with referee Alexander Khamidov. Ladies and gentlemen, we have party hour at the moment. Phuket, Thailand! Are you ready for your co main event of the evening? Uh, we're gonna try better than that, folks! I said, Phuket, Thailand! Are you ready? Please help me welcome, as we introduce first, fighting out of the black corner, he tops the scale at 80 kgs on the dot, presenting the former 2020 Tokyo Olympic bronze medalist and the current 2023 IBM men's light heavyweight bronze medalist, ladies and gentlemen, Damai Gaspada, Babrivis Fuyem, Iz Grozny, Chechnya, Rasia, Imam! And now, presenting his opponent, fighting out of the black corner. Tonight he enters the ring, standing at a height of 178 centimeters tall, weighing it officially at 79 and a quarter kgs. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the two-time highly decorated Olympian, the former 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic gold medalist, and the former 2020 Olympic light heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Damas y Caballeros, representando a la Valle de Guatemala, Cuba. Please help me welcome Alan Lopez Cardona. Head up, no holding, no low blow. Let's see my command. Shanks, head back. So here we go, five three minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Lopez in the white, Katayev in the black. And this was the fight that jumped off the card at me when I was asked to come and do this. It's just a terrific fight, this. As I said, they tangled in Marrakesh earlier in the year. Katayev got the win and looks to try and land that heavy lead left hand straight away there. Lopez with a right hand of his own. Nice slip there from Hatayev. 
He's one of these guys, Kataya, who just looks like he's made for professional boxing. Should, should suit this longer format of the five three-minute rounds. Lopez for so long was at middleweight. He looks absolutely massive at 75 kilos and that extra six kilos, which is pretty much a, a stone, six as it was, five as it is now. This just enabled him to achieve that bit more longevity. Switching southpaw there, Lopez. Gataev is a tight fit into this light heavyweight division. He is ripped to a shred. Talking about longevity, Lopez and La Cruz have been at this for such a long time and disappointing showings by their standards in the recent World Championships, particularly for La Cruz. You do wonder sometimes whether they might be coming towards the end, but the Olympics is only a year away. So I'm sure they will be doing everything they can to keep going for a while yet. Kataev trying to get onto the front foot here, lets that right hand go. And again, moves in behind that really wide, slingy left hook. Just switching between stances, Lopez. Kataev. On the hustle in this first round, he's the busier of the two. Not much clean has been landed, but... You can say that for both fighters, so I think the extra work rate here at Kataev is probably doing it for him at the moment. There goes the belt. I go Kataev's way with that opening round. He was the more aggressive of the two, more on the front foot. And in a round where not all that much clean lands, it wasn't that easy to separate them on clean punches because most of them were taken on the gloves or on the shoulder. But just that greater output, I think, from the Russian. It's probably enough for him. We'll see what the judges say. Five scoring down the ringside. It's a bodywork there from Kataev. So starting southpaw here, Lopez. Kataev just shuffling in, moving that front foot in behind that jab. And then scored with the right hand to the body. His feet do come quite square when he moves in Kataev at times. His feet tend to follow his fists a bit. Good left hand there from Lopez. That caught Kataev as he was on the move, looking to try and close the gap. Lead right hand from Lopez again there. I don't think really landed very strong, but it was just enough to, to offset Kataev. And that's what you need to do with someone like him. You cannot just allow him to walk in on you.
Stick it to Southpaw in this round, Lopez. Switch between the two stances in the first round, but I think he feels like that Southpaw stance is the best one for him. What it does do is negate that left hook of Katayev a little bit more because you get that right hand up, it's easier to block it. Slips the jab a couple of times there, Lopez. He's gone back orthodox now, though, just as I say that. Now Southpaw again. It's nip and tuck this, this second round. Lopez landed that good clean shot early on. That's the only real clean one that either of them have landed. Into the final minutes of the round. Right to the body there from Katayev. As Lopez was just trying to busy up his own hands. Very little in this round. Good right hand there from Lopez. As the two just split apart. Katayev probably scored with a couple to the body just before that. Going to the body again there, Katayev. Nice and easy for the judges to see. Bit of blood coming from somewhere. I think a cut on the corner of the left eye there of Katayev. Maybe from a clash of heads. And there's that right hand that lands again there. And the referee's going to stop this 11 minutes from the end of the round. And he's wiping that blood away. And if it's running into the eye, then that's a problem. And it definitely is, because you can see him blinking there. And we're into the second round, and what would happen if this got stopped, if it's from a clash of heads, is that the judges would score this round, which is pretty much finished. And then we would go from there, the cards would be handed in. If it's caused by a punch, then of course this is, or would be an RSCI, referee stop contest injury. But he's going to get the opportunity here, Katayev. Just needs to get through these last few seconds, and then that Russian corner has got some work to do in between rounds and there's that lead right hand again from Lopez that could have been the shot that caused it and he's won this round the Cuban for me landed a good number of solid clean blows so that should square it up at one apiece it does on my card anyway Good defense from Lopez. There's that right hand. Well, we didn't get a look at what caused the cut there. It could have been a right hand like that one. It wasn't that particular one that we saw, but he did land three or four of those in a round. Well, just looking at the scoring, and four out of five judges have gone Katayev's way again there. Not for me, I thought that was a Lopez round. His defence was pretty intact, Katayev was aggressive, but it was Lopez who landed the cleaner blows. So I'm slightly surprised by that. It means that he's got a mountain to climb now, the Cuban. again just looking to move in behind that left hand through a hook that time but he wasn't even really intending to land it I don't think it's more of a distraction at times straight right hand single right hand there from Katayev Way. Just heaves in a big breath there, Katayev. I just wonder if he's starting to feel the heat here a bit because, as I mentioned a number of times now, I'm becoming quite repetitive and boring on the subject of how hot it is in here. But 
it has affected some fighters. Akasayev is blowing a bit in there. Lopez has boxed a lot of WSB. He'll have done 20 plus five rounders before this. Easy. So much more experience at this kind of distance. He needs to try and put it on Kataev a little bit here, Lopez, I think. He must be sensing in there that the Russian is, is just trying to nick a bit of a rest here. And there's not much in this round heading into the final minute. Lopez needs to win this. I mean, he doesn't know that, but he's 2-0 down with four out of the five judges. Kataev just trying to up the ante. Having successfully managed to take a little bit of a rest, possibly. Poking with a jab there, nice quick lead right hand from Lopez. So left hand before that from Kataev made a good solid sound, but it was blocked by the glove. Couple of jabs there from Lopez in the orthodox stance. The scoring of this round, as I say, is absolutely critical. There's very little in that one, I felt. I thought Lopez won the second quite comfortably, but he didn't get it with four out of the five judges. So difficult to say which way they'll go with that one. But I definitely thought there were signs there that Kataev was just feeling the pace. Corner did a good job with a the cut there for Kataev. So into the third round, Lopez quickly off the stool there. Kataev just taking every second that he could. So what's he got left? Six minutes to go here through three rounds. Well, the scores have come in from that third round and three judges have gone for Kataev, two have gone for Lopez. So Kataev, 3 0 up with three judges and 2 1 up with the other two. So Lopez needs something big here to turn this one around. I thought Kataev won the opener quite clearly. I thought Lopez took the second quite clearly. I thought that third one, you could have gone either way. And it was split scoring with the judges, two, three in favour of Kataev, two in favour of Lopez. Clever there, Lopez, just takes his feet just far enough out of range, backs himself up into the corner. Kataev was moving in, shuffling in with that front foot, but he couldn't ever quite get close enough. But Lopez couldn't get anything off either. He kept his shape pretty well there, Kataev. Sometimes when he comes forward, like I said, his back foot will come round a bit, he comes in quite square. If he'd done that then, he'd have been in trouble. Nice right hand there from Lopez. He did square up slightly there, Kataev. Lopez just made him pay for it. A little jab gets through there from Lopez. It's a good, good fight, this. They're so evenly matched. So little in it. He's just looking for those singles, Lopez. 
just looking to make Kataev miss or fall short and then profit from that. Final few seconds of the fourth, and again, this has been similar to the third. I wouldn't argue with this one going either way. I'd probably cheat the scoring a bit, to be honest, in rounds three and four. Give one one way and then the other the other way because they were both very, very close. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to look as closely as you can to find a winner in each individual round. And what's happened in previous rounds has no bearing at all. But that is probably what I would have done, which on my card would have this teed up at two rounds apiece going into the fifth and final round. We're not going to get that eventuality on enough of the judges' scorecards to make this all to box for in the final round. We could have it with a couple, but three judges have got Kataev 3-0 up through three. So it's the fifth and final round of Kataev with what looks to be an unassailable lead with three of the judges. Split scoring again in round number four. And what that translates into is that four judges have got it three rounds to one, one judge four rounds to nil to Kataev. Short, straight left to the body there from Kataev. Lopez looking to try and the uppercut on the inside and steps in. Good right hand into the body there from Lopez. And Kataev just backed off a little bit there. Little bit low that from Lopez. Past the midway stage of round five. And Kataev won't necessarily know, but he's on his way towards another win here, having beaten Lopez and Marrakesh earlier in the year. The scores come up on the screens around ringside. The coaches will have them communicated to them as well. Whether they tell the boxer or not, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It can depend on the circumstances. Lopez isn't boxing like somebody who necessarily knows that he needs knockdowns in this final round. Gatai looking to try and let go with that right hand. Lopez just trying to usher him in. Kataev. I think he's just looking to produce one last big effort here which is the kind of sign, really, that he feels this is close. I don't know what his corner have been telling him, but he's really putting a shift in here right towards the end. And I think he's doing enough to win this final round, which would just shade it to him for me. But rounds three, four and five, I think, have been very, very tight. The first two, I thought, were, were one each. But there's a touch of the gloves between the two. Lopez, I think, feels like he's done enough there. Kataev definitely feels like he's done enough. We know that the Russian is going to... is going to get it. 
But as I say, I just felt like that was a very, very close fight. I can understand why Lopez feels he's done enough. So little in it. And our MC has just got that piece of paper in his hand with the final result on. These two about to find out which way this has gone. Ladies and gentlemen, your highly anticipated co-main event comes to a close after giving five three-minute rounds here from the beautiful city of Phuket, Thailand. You've been tuning in here live around the world for the IBA Champions Night. However, before we go to the judge's scorecard to decide our undisputed pound for pound light heavyweight champion in the ring, please help me welcome a very dear guest to us, your IBA Board of Directors member. Please help me welcome Mr. Belhaj Abdul Shawel. Joining Mr. Abdul Jawad in the ring, the icon and IBA Champions Night title, where we'll be now crowning your pound for pound, undisputed light heavyweight champion. After completing five three minute rounds in a boxing matchup, all your judges see it the same way, ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision to the black corner is Grosny Chechnya Rossiya Ivan. So Katayev gets it by unanimous decision. Four of the judges went 4-1 in his favor. The other one went 5-0. A shake of head there from Lopez off camera when the decision was announced. It was a very close fight, I thought. Closer than the judges had it. I think he could have had that 3-2 either way. And I wouldn't really have, have given you any kind of argument. So a bit wide for me. So I can and understand now, ladies Lopez's and gentlemen, for the official awarding ceremony, it's a good our fight esteemed between IBA two very well matched opponents. We'll be handing out the respective checks for 10,000 US dollars to your champion, Imam Khataev, and the follow up, an Olympian will receive $5,000. Ladies and gentlemen, your IBA Champions Night Light Heavyweight Champion of the World from Grozny, Chechnya, Russia, Iman Kataev. So Kataev follows up that bronze medal at the World Championships with a win on Champions Night. One fight remaining, that heavyweight, Julio La Cruz up against Emmanuel Reyes. And those two fighters met in the quarterfinals in Tokyo. It was La Cruz who triumphed on that occasion on his way to his second Olympic goal. 